There are a variety of ways to do a push-up. Um, you may have heard of you know, the traditional push-up, arms out, arms in, uh, decline push-ups, uh, modified push-ups on your knees, because you decrease the weight by dropping on your knees. But let's start with the normal push-ups. You wanna see how to do a push-up? Sorry, there's something floating. Let's do it! All right, so to start with the push-up, we're gonna go shoulder width apart with our hands. So again, shoulders, hands under your shoulders. Try, I know a lot of people when they do push-ups, sometimes their hands are in, sometimes they're back here, their butt's up in the air, and they're like this. They're not going all the way down. I don't even know what they're doing. Some people have wrist pain, so we'll go over different ways to do push-ups as well. Now the startup, with your hands, I like to externally rotate. I find this relieves pressure in my shoulders and in my elbows to make this less painful. External rotation basically is if your hands were like this, we're not actually gonna turn our hands that much. We're gonna plant them, but then we're gonna put the weight like we're screwing our hands into the floor and rotating our elbows in towards the body, externally rotating. So the pressure is as if I screwed in a plate or I put out a cigarette with my hand without actually rotating my hand. This is a cue you also hear a lot with squats with the feet, you screw in your foot to the floor. So here, you can even cheat them a little bit out if you have a lot of pain in your wrist so they actually physically are externally rotated. Shoulder width apart, here, again external. As I go down, I like to lean slightly forward and then I come right back. So it's almost like at a diagonal versus honestly straight up and down. You can go straight up and down, but some people find that to cause more pain in their elbows and shoulders. So when you go slightly forward, it just alleviates by creating some room. Inhale and exhale on the way up. That exhale gives me a bit of a burst of energy to extend my body back to the top. Same thing if I were bench pressing. Inhale, exhale, pushing the weight up. So I'm gonna treat the push up the same. So this is great for your chest, your triceps, um, engaging your core, your glutes, even your legs isometrically. Um, just by keeping your body tight and firm, you're using those muscles. So even though this isn't an abdominal workout in of itself, it's more chest and triceps, you are using your abs if you do these correctly. So again, you can do a lazy push-up and not engage anything except your chest. Am I working out? Technically, but I'm not getting the most bang for my buck. So if I engage my glutes, squeeze my feet together, externally rotate, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. And I come all the way up. You see a lot of people kind of do this. They're like, yeah, I'm like on push-up number 3,000. And they're really not doing push-ups. They're just kind of like bouncing. Yes, you can argue they're getting a little bit of tricep work and some bicep on the extent or on the bend on the way down, uh, negative-wise for the strength. Yes, they're technically working. Something is better than nothing, but you're not getting the most out of it. It's not very efficient. I'd rather you do five real push-ups all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. And you might be like, but I can't do as many then. Who cares? You're gonna get stronger for it. So again, quality over quantity. All right, another thing to go over with push-ups. So elbows in uses more triceps. Elbows out tends to use more chest, but I'm still externally rotating. I'm not letting my elbows flare out to the side. Again, that causes pain for a lot of people in the shoulders. So I activate them in, even though I'm in a wider push-up. Normally when I do push-ups, I'm not looking forward like this. As you can hear in my voice, it's already straining because my neck is not in a good position. Head should be neutral. So whether your arms are here or further or closer, neck is neutral, just in line with your spine. Squeezing my glutes, squeezing my core. I'm not dipping my butt low. I'm not pushing it up to the sky. I am purposely squeezing, inhale down, exhale up. Wider, inhale down, exhale up. Still keeping that external rotation regardless. Diamond push-ups, still external rotation. Inhale down, exhale up. So regardless of the type of push-up you do, you wanna make sure you do them efficiently and with proper form. A, to decrease your chance of injury, and B, to get the most out of that movement. So you may be thinking, you can't do a push-up yet. How do you start? Well, you can modify the push-up by starting on your knees. There's nothing that makes you weak by starting on your knees. You're starting where you are to get to where you wanna go, and that's totally fine. You're gonna build the strength to get to where you actually wanna go. So from my knees, same idea. Externally rotate, either wide or close, depending on what you wanna do. Inhale, bring it down, chest towards the floor. Exhale, back up. And now, depending on how long your arms are, you don't actually need to go like all the way chest hitting the floor. Um, a lot of people just like to go 90 degree bend in the elbow and then back to the top, lock out. Uh, so you can modify with that a little bit too. But I like to go personally in a push-up until my arms are nice 90 degree or chest is almost touching the floor. 
and then back to the top. Yeah, so if you need to do them on your knees, totally fine. You could even do diamonds on your knees as well, whatever position you want. If you wanna make them harder as well, you can either go faster for explosive strength or you can go really, really slow. Try doing one push up, but take 30 seconds to a minute. One, two, three, four, until you get to 30, and then when you're all the way down, and then take 30 seconds to get up. One, two, three, okay. four, so on. Again, it gets difficult. Time under tension. So another way you can mix up the push ups, you can put your feet on something elevated to work decline push ups. So again, I keep my body tight. I'm not dropping my butt to the floor. I'm not pushing it up to the sky. Stay tight. Again, I go at a diagonal, lower down, back up. Lower down, back up. You can even use a bit more core and glutes. Lift the foot up, switch. I've been doing a lot of push-ups during this quarantine as well. Thankfully, it's something that's super efficient. Um, it's a great skill to make sure you have in your back pocket. If you have any questions or other modifications of push-ups you wanna see, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know.